That was my last year. My last year as a B player. As they would say in the rankings, my last year as a B player. I played in the singles tournament. If I'm not mistaken, it was the PHA. Yeah, it was the PHA tournament. The finalists. Uh, uh, snap. It's loading up, but it was Johnny Green. Oh, I got it. It was Johnny Green, Franklin, who technically was an A. This guy right here, this guy sandbagged the tournament. He was an A player. It was a great experience. I just, 2013 was my year, and I just dominated singles and doubles, which, by the way, at that time, I guess I was the last one for it. That's what mattered. You place in the singles and the doubles. Now, they go based off who you beat. Um, how far you made it and stuff like that, you know, I'm pretty sure back in the days With the you know, the old the older handball plays like Rook and them and stuff like that Cisco and all of them It was different for them. You had to dominate the singles and the doubles There was no such thing as just beating somebody and getting your a card. You had to prove a point You know make a name for yourself and then you get your a card, but you know things change not everything stays the same and like I said, I was grateful for that year, and that was an amazing year for me. I was super excited about that year. You know, a lot of people say my game doesn't show a lot of effort, but that's just because I've learned over the years how to change my style and conserve more of my energy and less usage of my body. And I'm one of those players that, as much as you guys think you're getting to my head, it's more of a reverse psychology. I'm, more get, I'm getting into your head, and little by little, I start getting in there and I start finding weaknesses and figuring you out. Like for me, it's like playing chess, you know? Once I get that checkmate, you know, I figured you out, that's it, you know? You deal with pressure, um, you know, also when it comes to that, that, you know, that edge where it's 20-20 and there's no 25 because it's not a money game because you're in a tournament. Uh, not only that, you have refs and stuff and calls could go against you. You have to, your mindset has to be ready. I've taken the game to another level where I don't have to play a thousand percent, hit the ball hard, I can finesse, which I learned some from, you know, Dave Rojas, who's also a legend. He also taught me a lot of those uh, placement shots and finesse shots and how to move the ball and better angles and lobbing the ball and, um, you know, and it goes to our day, you know, in this time where Timbo's the best, you know, you know, he may have his little moment right now where he's not at his best, but he's still, you know, placing top top five you know he's still getting number one too you know and uh i give him a lot of credit we we had a lot of battles you know i've learned a lot playing against him as well you know we all that's one thing we all can't do in this generation of our you know handball community we all have to give each other credit you know one thing we don't do is give each other credit we talk a lot of shit and uh, that's just me being real <laughs> but um you know at the end of the day just give each other credit and you know just play hard, show each other your competitiveness and how much you want it, and that's what really matters, how much you want it. I like the fact that where everybody stands. Everybody's a different style, a different type of player, and have their own earnings and their own winnings, you know, at different times and different moments. So, overrated? I wouldn't say anybody's overrated. I don't really, I think everybody made a mark in their own way, and they proved that they're the player they are. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, and I don't, honestly don't think there's anybody overrated. If anything, there's players that are underrated. Like I mentioned James. Like a lot of people, certain people mention him and say he's great, but I think he deserves more attention. Hopefully he can come out more and play in more events to show that. But like I said, I grew up with him. Him and Timbo is one of the players I grew up in the Bronx at a young age playing with them. And Man, he got some fire, man. That guy got some nice shot selections. And like I said, for a skinny, tall dude, he got power. And, you know, he's, he's, he's a great player, you know? But like I said, I don't think anybody's overrated. I, I like where everybody stands and the characters that they are and the players that they are and the styles that they are. And I love it because it's all different types of styles. Nobody's, nobody's the same. You get what I mean? So hopefully... You know, we could get through this pandemic and, you know, we can get back on the court and competing with each other to prove who's better at what and who can be on top.